For more on trade between China and Latin America, Margaret Myers joins us. She's Program Director with the Inter-American Dialogue, a leading U.S. Center for Policy Analysis. Thank you very much and welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, looking ahead to 2013, what are the prospects and the biggest issues facing China in terms of trade and foreign direct investment uh, with China and Latin America? The biggest issues for, for Latin America in terms of trade will be to begin expanding its basket of goods that is exporting to China and then also globally. Uh, right now, Latin America is, or at least countries in South America, are primarily exporting commodities. And this is not seen as a very good long-term growth strategy for the region. They also import primarily manufactured goods from, from China. And, and so obviously there's a bit of an imbalanced relationship. So both sides um, have mentioned in, over the past year an interest in sort of working toward promoting better trade relations, more balanced trade relations, and, and starting to invest in sectors that will be promoting of longer-term growth for, for Latin America. I mean, you, you talk about long-term growth and, and going forward. Mm -hmm. Those are the challenges. What about the opportunities between the two, two areas? Well, Latin America has already benefited tremendously from, from China's entree into the region. It's, uh, I mean, record growth, 6 to 7% growth in certain countries as a result of, of, of Chinese investment and primarily trade in, in uh, certain countries in particular. Um, but China, I mean, as I mentioned, really this year, and, and it did so in a, in a meeting at the um, Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, part of the UN, Wen Jiabao there just last year, uh, or actually just a few months ago, made a speech vowing to work very closely with Latin America to not only enhance these trade opportunities, investment opportunities, but also to, to really focus on building strategic sectors in, in Latin America. And that includes, uh, you know, investment in, in agriculture, but also in ag tech, agricultural technology, uh, investment in um, service sectors, in all sorts of different manufacturing uh, industries. And it, China really is planning to do this across the board, not only in, in South America, where it has these really fantastic relationships, but also in Central, Central America and Mexico, where relations have been a bit more strained. So there's a real commitment there. The, um, you know, next year there's a leadership change in China. I'm sure you've looked at the five-year plan. Mm -hmm. uh, how's that going to affect Latin America over the next several of years? I think the, uh, the, the leadership transition that we just saw and then the one, the, the governmental transition coming up is, uh, you know, not, not something that's going to impact China-Latin America rela relations too profoundly, um, especially not China's sort of formal foreign policy toward Latin America. That's based on one single document. It's the 2008 uh, policy paper on Latin America and the Caribbean. And the sense is that that's just going to continue sort of on, on autopilot for, for the next few years. The five-year plan um, has many areas of focus, um, two in particular, urbanization and industrialization, are likely to have profound impacts for, for Latin American nations and particularly for commodities exporters again. Because in order for, for the government or the leadership to, to continue promoting these um, urbanization and, and, and um, industrialization efforts, it will need much in the way of raw materials and that's Big, where we're uh, going to take them. Very big topics with um, a lot of questions and maybe not quite so many answers as of yet. Margaret mm -hmm. Myers from the Inter-American Dialogue, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.